the out-of-control space station plunging from the sky, the Chinese station falling to Earth, expected to enter the atmosphere and burn up within the next several hours. Space agencies around the world are tracking the station and possible debris. But where it hits is still anyone's guess. But we are getting a major update tonight. Here's ABC's Whit Johnson. Tonight, the final countdown. The explosive re-entry of China's first space station expected at any moment. The latest simulation video showing most of it burning up in the sky. And now, a new prediction. We have extremely high confidence that the United States is in the clear. The updated path of re-entry far south of the United States. The Pacific Ocean, hundreds of miles off the coast of South America. Still, ever since the Chinese lost control of Tiangong-1 two years ago, the exact location of its fiery finale has been difficult to predict. The Aerospace Corporation tracking its orbit, not ruling out another surprise. If it were to re-enter earlier, would be over Asia. Uh, and if it were to re-enter later, would be South America and then passing uh, northeast up over Africa and into, the, into Asia again. The odds of getting hit by a piece of space junk are a trillion to one, but that hasn't stopped many from looking to the sky, including Bill Nye. What's unique about this space station? Debris from outer space. Thousands of tons hit the Earth every night, every day, all the time. But this thing's eight and a half tons, and it's cylindrical. The solar panels are going to go like this or like this, and so there's a lot of unknowns. And Whit Johnson joins us now. Whit, I see you're not wearing your helmet, a good sign for Americans. If people were in the area around re-entry, what could they see? Well, definitely no helmets needed in North America, that's for sure, Tom. But scientists say it would be a spectacular sight. You'd have to be in South America or someplace over the Pacific. And if the conditions were right, you would see a streak of light cross the sky, then break apart and what would look like a cluster of shooting stars raining down, Tom. Whit Johnson for us tonight. Whit, thanks so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.